now how to interpret that okay so when we are uh, we have lot of different methods to interpret so initially people are doing particularly for different types of tests just like build up test um, your drawdown test then interference test maybe pulse test uh, isochronal test but now things are going to a very uh, syst uh, systematic manner very simple approach so this is now diagnostic plot diagnostic plot means you need to just see the slope of the graph and going into the but still we will just look into the old method little bit okay then we will go for the advanced method what is now people are following all over the world okay so a lot of different methods can be used to analyze a well test they can be classified into two main groups these are the old methods okay using type curves and another is conventional method okay so in uh, such method if you just uh, see what is the conventional method conventional method are developed in the 30s and were the only ones available until the 70s so you see how things are progressing they consist of identifying the different periods of characteristic flow in succession on the, the pressure record uh, recorded pressure during the characteristic flow linear radial the pressure variation is represented by a time scale adapted to have a straight line for the particular flow so whenever we are trying to analyze we try to understand a straight line domain so what either we are changing the x or maybe y value either maybe p del p or maybe um, you can see the first derivative or maybe second derivative and then in the time also we are getting some sometimes elapsed time sometimes um, only t sometimes the hornot time so different way we are actually plotting okay so using only conventional method to analyze a test leads to several drawbacks it's it is sometimes difficult to diagnose diagnose a flow the flow com correspond to a straight line on the pressure versus time uh, if time graph generally the straight line exists only if the different flows are separated so that means and otherwise there is no straight line no conventional interpretation is possible so now what is there we are now the same formulations we are trying to fit it in different polynomial form okay so that polynomial and particularly the, um, the power of the polynomial actually helping us to understand the specific domain and we try to correlate that specific domain which type of physical nature around that well or the flow okay so this is what is happening in the present time interpretation takes only the points located on a straight line into account the points corresponding to the transition between two flows are not used so you see the when the slopes are changing we have a change in the pattern in the physical nature surrounding the uh, flow so that is how so what is what we are doing in most of the cases we are trying to understand the nature of the reservoir of that particular time frame that means in specific time where at which domain or at which what uh, distance the flow has been reached it opens that only a small proportion of this data is used a conventional analysis so you see initially a lot of disturbances are there in the well then we are getting maybe the straight line domain then we are again getting maybe within the straight line domain we may not get sometimes straight line domain because we will we'll come to know that with time we may have different types of flow behavior it may be if it is generally infinitely acting reservoir then generally we get the straight line but if it is a fractured reservoir if it is let's say channel reservoir if the uh, location of the well is uh, in a very constricted area so that is how even if what we expected in the infinite lacking domain the main reservoir area that is all not going to give you a straight line uh, graph so that's why it is sometimes difficult to draw the proper straight line in many interpretations several straight lines may seem to appear it is often difficult to determine which straight line corresponds to the relevant analysis okay so that means if you see in a fracture reservoir if you see what is happening initially the flow is from the fracture but once uh, you maybe or generally in the fracture but once you start analyzing it maybe what you get you get some uh, transition then again you may get a straight line so that particular time we may have certain difficulty in analyzing or maybe you correlating something okay so what is a type curve a type curve is nothing standard graph with a standard value of different skin different uh, infinite link domain then you have uh, the gra graphs are set what we do we generally uh, analyze our well test 
matching with the tribe curve okay so they uh, first appear in the form of set of curves using dimensionless parameter so in most of the cases what we do we have a uh, diamond dimensionless parameter of we have discussed early how they are related your normal pressure with dimensionless parameter wellbo radius with dimensionless radius then time with dimensionless time that we know okay so what we do most of the uh, existing analysis or data we try to uh, put it in the series of type curve and then we analyze or we uh, try to match which type curve is matching with our own data and then we try to Uh, compare the normal uh, relations or uh, equal equa relation equa equation relations and then find out the real value which we have tested okay so type curve produced by well mo well model on a pc have eliminated most of the methods limitation okay so it is basically we are basically eliminating all the problems and trying to get the exact graph in the type curve from 1983 on the type curve methods were greatly improved as they were used in conjunction with the pressure derivative what type of uh, what type curve method have a common is that they take into account at the same time all the pressure variation recorded during the well test okay this allows the determination of the various flow occurring during the test and then the diagnosis of the well and the reservoir so what we are doing we are trying to match you see your matching points or your your uh, uh, is very important I mean, maybe they are very closely spaced the series of uh, standard graphs are very closely spaced but how you are matching that is most important okay so otherwise your values will be completely different so how you see the three different steps diagnosis analysis and validation so the pro so what diagnosis diagnosis allows the determination of the sequence of flow appearing during the test identifying the flows determine which reservoir well configuration will then be used for the interpretation just like any any sort of thing so first you diagnose so what are the problems or what what is actually my well situation in which type of type curve i will take for my analysis if this is the first step is you are not properly following or if, if you are misguided then hopefully your analysis and part will not be right okay so that's why diagnosis this diagnosis is made mainly on the basis of the pressure derivative so what we 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 have discussed the pressure derivative in the last class okay so first generally p dot means uh, first uh, derivative will help us to match with the proper uh, uh, your type curve analysis aim to quantify the parameters of the reservoir well configuration it is perform with type curves the pressure derivative and the conventional method both okay so validation is what whatever my interpretation is is it really matching with your well, my well as well as the reservoir data okay so analysis is validated by generating a type curve simulating the data with its derivative as closely as possible by means of analytical method adapted to the reservoir well configuration and the recorded flow rates so what maybe with a specific type curve i matched and i get certain parameters then again for validation what i do i just use the same parameter and the same flow rates and then try to validate is it matching is it the same thing coming into my picture or not okay so then sometimes we may have to adjust the parameters also okay so the parameters are final adjustment of parameters are usually necessary necessary to fit the data better especially for transition between different flow design so we have discussed a bit regarding the different flow design so that part will again when i will be discussing the diagnostic block that time we may again discuss okay so you see how, how to do it it's a very simple method we have let's say if i just go to the this this is a set of type curve okay so you see the set of type curve is generally the dimensionless pressure and you have a this is actually the pressure and you have a pressure derivative uh, graph uh, let's say pressure derivative graph it is not there hopefully in the next uh, class it is there so you see this is a pressure derivative graph oh no sorry pressure graph okay so this is a set of uh, type curve all this okay so you see here all the variations we discussed about the uh, skin we discussed about the wellbo storage and skin okay so what we discussed we discussed whenever the graph 
is um, going away from a straight line domain that means we are gradually uh, uh, um, uh, going away from the wellbow storage effect and then 1.5 is considered to be the uh, final limit of our wellbow storage effect then skin effect is come into picture so if you see we have a transition domain and all the formulations are actually related to certain formulation cd dimensionless uh, your you have the skin uh, e to the power 2s which is, is two uh, skin is related to your some parameters value okay so you see this graph is having two important parameters one is cd which is what wellbow storage effect and s is skin so this all the graphs having specific value of these parameters including both so if you see so st straight line semi log uh, straight line is here so this is the straight line domain okay so when it is deviating so this uh, how to analyze it so this is what your normal pressure versus dlp versus time you are having okay so the shape of the response curve is characteristic the product of the one of the variables by a constant term is changed into a displacement on a logarithmic axis. So if you see, this is your log log plot, okay? Uh, log log plot in your uh, del P versus del T. So what in most of the study or most of our uh, well test data we plotted in this graph, okay? So this, the log log analysis global, it considered the full period from very early time to the latest recorded pressure in our well test, okay, from early time. So once you plot it here with your normal, you can do it in your Excel spreadsheet also. Now pressure curve. So you see, these are your dimensionless parameter with del P. Then you have your uh, well bow storage effect with your normal uh, C, okay. And then you have your uh, TD time with the normal time. Okay, and this is the dimensionless time group. So this is actually your uh, uh, x-axis parameters. Okay, so now this you are that means what do you do? You are plotting your data in our normal field units. It is del p, del t, and sometimes uh, okay. So this is our normal plot. What we are doing this this part. Okay. Now next part is what? This is the existing set of type curve in the normal pressure uh, dimensionless pressure versus your dimensionless time including both you see time and uh, wellbow storage effect and all these formulations are related to two parameters you see this uh, your wellbow storage effect and skin and what we discussed when the uh, particularly slope is more or less here is not changing that way in the normal pressure graph or dimensionless pressure that means we are trying to, or we are reaching maybe the uh, infinite acting domain that means the support system is very good in this domain okay so you see here this is the field unit so now what to do this is your plotted graph in your pressure change versus elapsed time delta okay and this is your type curve so in a, manually once you do with your transparent graph paper then it you will understand what is happening so this is very important first you can do it manually with the help of any transparent paper with you or maybe in the uh, computer also excel whatever you are plotting you just take and you have to match actually that is important okay so the log log data plot del p del t is superimposed on a set of dimensionless type curve so now how do you decide we have different types of type curve okay i'll come to that afterwards maybe uh, next class subsequent classes so what depending on your system or situations you are trying to get a set of type curve then you plot your del p versus del t graph in your normal uh, excel spreadsheet or maybe in any your graph paper then you are superimposing them and trying to understand how this line is fitted the straight line portion as well as the curve portion that means this is your you are moving out from your rollbow storage and you are getting your skin so this graph should be properly matched so the early time unit slope straight line is matched on the wellbow storage asymptote but the final choice of this that means cd curve is frequently not unique so you see this part may be match with your unit slope the early time but the this part may not match because this is related to your skin part so that's why you need to be properly shifting your graph in such a way so that it match both the part 
in your up to that unit slope as well as the skin part also okay so this is what you need to do then what you do you see this dimensional so these are the relations i have already discussed how they are related okay so you see this is your pm pm is pressure match so what once it is matching you can take any point so this is two units are there the type curve is in dimensionless form and your value is in the field form okay so you see they are the relations so once you so you have this value and you have this del p value in every cases okay so now you you should the kh is related to this formulations okay kh and your c and td by cd okay, this relation so what from the two graph what you have plotted in the field unit and the dimensionless pressure type curve you are getting the parameters all the parameters are dimensionless parameters and normally your del p then your td you are getting from here c you are getting from here so by analyzing everything you could get your kh as well as c okay so all the parameters so match that means what you do you put a match point anywhere you can put a match point once your graph is matched you can you can take any match point any anywhere in the in, in the both the graph so that means your normal scale value and this value will match perfectly and we could use this formulation okay this is let's say curve match the skin s is 0.5 so what we are so this is the match point and this is your cd what you have got from the earlier formulation okay so okay so down down drawdown period are in general not suitable for analysis because it is difficult to ascertain a constant flow rate so this is the problem with uh, drawdown uh, responses the response is distorted especially with the log log scale that expands the response at early time build up periods are preferably used the flow rate is nil therefore well controlled so you can understand what is the difference between uh, going to the type curve analysis for a drawdown and the build up study okay example of a certain after a single rate drawdown build up response do not show the same behavior as a first drawdown in the reservoir at initial pressure after a drawdown of tp what is tp production time let's say if you produce some amount of time then once you are going for the build up so first build up and the subsequent build up may not be the same that's why what is there we use tp and specific time for the build up so it takes an infinite time to reach the initial pressure during build up so what is there if you have taken out certain production from the reservoir so what happened you cannot get the uh, initial pressure again if you um, uh, study your build up build up okay so that is how it takes an infinite time to reach the initial pressure during build up and to pr produce a pressure change del p bu build up of amplitude del p tp okay so build up response depends upon the previous rate history that means how much and what rate you produce and how long you produce so tp is very important and then so sub first drawdown build up test and the subsequent build up test after a lot of production generally cannot be same okay so if you see these are the graphs this is one okay so history drawdown in certain so this is what we produce for a longer time and then, so this is tp if you subsequently produce for the 5 years 10 years all the production value will be considered and that way you are you are uh, planning to get your tp okay so the diffusivity equation used to generate the well test analysis solution is linear it is possible okay so that is how we are trying to get certain information okay from the what it's a basically the interference part okay so this is for build up after a single drawdown at q an injection period of q is supposed to be extended extended flow period so if you see here this is actually what is happening so that means your extended drawdown you are considering so this is drawdown okay or you are stopping it your q is there and we are trying so this concept would be useful in our particularly the convolution and din convolution i'll come to that afterwards so that means we are trying to get a red value not we are going for a specific uh, part so we are getting the ratio of pressure and particularly the flow okay so so now uh, log log analysis build up type curve you now got the certain part okay so this is the second part the pressure build up okay the curve composed in you see this is del, del p 
so pd the production uh, tpd so you have a tpd pre pd is here okay with t product type so this is what so this is actually you have build up type curve and this is actually the the trend okay so there is a difference in in drawdown curve okay so this is drawdown curve type curve and this is build up type curve so you cannot get so this is what up to this you are getting so if you just go that means uh, to the previous uh, slides this slide you can understand so what if we continue with our extended flow rate we could measure the um, build up in the process and this is the normal build up so two graphs will never be matched you see there is a difference okay so this is what depending on your um, uh, time of flow and what rate you are getting so we that's why we are trying to uh, superpose the time of the total flow so here if you see build up that that means initially it is producing up to a tp time then we are getting the normal flow rate okay so these are the two build up case del p it uh, is the formulations uh, semi log analysis we are getting this is what is there okay so drawdown build up uh, uh, type curves and this is actually the drawdown build and build up type curve so this is what build up type curves and this is drawdown type curves and this is your uh, <clears throat> drawdown type curves and this is build up type curves so this part will vary so the same uh, th uh, build up for build up and drawdown we cannot get the similar type of graph and we cannot get the proper analysis so that's why when we are trying to understand we should be very careful how long it has been produced because up to this fine but you see after that we are getting a deviation in both the cases so that's why the formulations or data will get from this normal uh, pressure versus time graph or maybe dimensionless time graph it may not be the same okay so that's why we need to properly okay horner is just the similar type we are changing the time period considering the initial production time tp in the formulations okay so this is what that means we try to get a sink slope okay here and so what so initial part whatever the slow and if we extend it that will give us the peak bar or the initial pressure of the production so once we consider the tp or straight line time that is what so what is hornell analysis you can see so the form the time the x axis value is different what is the x axis x axis is uh, your uh, your what tp this is this is what our normal build up example and semi log horner analysis same thing we are plotting pressure versus horner time what is horner time we are considering the tp so tp plus del t by del t del t is what our production time okay so what is horner horner time is nothing but the similar type but we are changing the x axis so that we get specific straight line period to understand our Uh, certain parameters okay this okay so multi rate superposition so what this is what is there in the prop, uh, you see we have a lot more time we produce so q rate we produce then certain we produce and certain so once you are using to get the horner plot you need to add up all the parameters of your production time and the production rate so that's why it may be of a multi rate superposition of your uh, production rate as well as the time so that's why this is our last build up test this part but once we are trying to uh, plot in the semi log or horner plot we need to account for everything otherwise we may not be very accurate for our analysis so that's why we need to do the superposition you see the multi rate these are different rate we are flowing then we have a uh, time period of the pressure change then again we got the first build up then again we are producing in different rate then again a small build up and then again going for it's not build up actually the multi bin test okay the fluctuation so this we can purposefully do for getting certain information how immediately in different flow rate flow rate means bin size the uh, particular reservoir is responding okay so sometimes we we'll, sometimes we do purposefully to understand the reservoir surrounding 
okay so the multi date superposition time you see there is a uh, complicated formulation it is is not complicated but is a considering every parameter you see different q rate you are taking how much time it is producing tn at del t then ti the initial time of production then n so many types of uh, you see the same thing but we are added up so p w s e p i minus the same formulations but we are putting it together all the production time as well as the production values of the tp okay so how do you do it you see the same thing so what here it is the same formulation but two parameter one left side you can see this is a, a horner plot and right side you see it's a, a, a type curve matching okay so the analysis is made on log log and semi specialized plot the purpose of this specialized analysis is to concentrate on a portion of the data that corresponded to the particular flow behavior the analysis is carried out by the identification of a state line on a plot whose scale is specific to the flow design considered okay so this is state line part the time limits of a specialized state lines are identified by the log log dimension okay that diagnostic uh, diagnosis plot so we'll discuss the diagnosis plot afterwards but still initially people used to understand the um, uh, the region of flow that means if the slope of the graph is changing how it is changing and at what rate so by different way people are trying to get a straight line domain as well as the non straight line domain and they are trying to get uh, different analysis okay so the, this is pressure match and from that we are getting the particularly the slope okay so once the pressure match is defined known as uh, the known results from log log specialized must be consistent so you, what you do we are trying to do two different methods by understanding are everything is matching for us or not for both the cases okay so that is how, what we try to do for our work okay so uh, so this is these are old method but still i am trying to give you some idea how actually initially people analyze by different way so what is the basis uh, or what is the basic uh, philosophy of doing it anybody sanjeev who is the fifth person join so uh, aditya sanjeev jain and who is there lakshmi or nikhil yes, sir it's me acha lakshmi is there fine fine lakshmi okay okay so nikhil is not there today so uh, any 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 doubt so far no sir okay so these are these are you see these are the old old technique what uh, is the basis of this all discussion so what initially people don't have much information or much idea okay so what we do we try to get certain parameters change in the either x axis or y axis you see the del p elapsed uh, del p p then you have your um, uh, normal pressure pressure derivative double derivative in the y axis okay and what is the x axis we may have the normal time we may have the elapsed time we may have the horner time okay then what is there we may have the normal uh, cartesian plot we may have the semi log plot we may have the log log, log plot log. so by different way we are trying to understand the physical nature of the flow okay so that means we are always trying to get a straight line in different portions so that we can characterize the flow but still we have certain problems so what is now people are doing we'll, we are, will try to understand so what we you may have a different um, uh, informations involved in the specific pressure because pressure is what we discussed is the transmissivity and storativity how much storage can be could be possible in the compressible zone and how much it is transmitting to the next flow or the, it is adding to the flow so that is how it may be related to the storativity transmissivity it may be related to certain parameters which is called compressibility some or other parameter so people now what people are doing they are getting certain information from the graph okay so now they are trying to fit the all this graph in the polynomial form small segment which is not a straight line it is a but it can fit in a polynomial form and what is the polynomial that polynomial may not be a straight line but it is combination of different uh, flow regime or different type of flow that type of flow it may be a bilinear flow it may be a spherical flow it may be a linear flow it may be a flow in a channel of different types of channel 
so that is what we need to understand so are you getting my point sir yes sir okay so this is what is our main so that book which is there the book has been divided in a specific pattern reservoir well there have different type of basic conventional analysis the pressure pressure derivative but what we will try to understand from here so we'll just understand the basic initial uh, analysis type then we may shift to the diagnostic plot i have uh, more or less prepared my class presentations okay uh, so that it would and particularly conventional and uh, sorry uh, convolution and deconvolution uh, i am trying to understand much better way now okay so i have downloaded if you find any new uh, presentation or maybe any sort of your video lecture you just forward to me okay so any question so far from here so this is a conventional method uh, particularly and uh, your uh, type curve type curve only we discuss today the uh, pressure change versus elapsed time okay but maybe next class we'll uh, do both and try to get parameters right okay pressure type curve means gringerton type curve or maybe some other other type of type curve okay so agarwal type curve so many types of type curves are there okay so lakshmi anything okay sir yes yes sir any question so far are you doing your assignments yes sir so everybody who is watching uh, how we are progressing our class okay so i think uh, this uh, part uh, i have uh, already uh, uh, hopefully all of books all of you are having the books na yes sir yes okay. sir do and this, this is what this is very important course in terms of understanding the dynamic uh, of the dynamics of the reservoir and uh, it would be really uh, fruitful if we uh, uh, get our time and properly discuss even if you have anything to discuss Uh, let me ask you if you are planning to let's say sir i i want to uh, give a talk on this uh, topic whatever you can you can you can frame it and we'll conduct you may be the host that day or you may be enter and you just continue your uh, material okay that is one part we could we could continue so that you will get an experience how to handle everything okay so uh, that is also fine uh, uh, for you also i'm trying to understand each and every details how to mute others how to uh, close it's there okay so got it right okay so uh, b and and sanjeev you send me how to do this i'll try my what how uh, what do you explain but send me yes, point yes, wise yes, i will send you huh okay okay yes sir i will send you please send it okay so we have uh, less yes. time maybe it will disconnect immediately okay all the best take care thank you sir okay okay, okay.